Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Rocket V90 512GB UHS-2 SD card. This retails for $599. US dollars. I'll include a link in the description, and a full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. Now, this is a very exciting product because this is the largest V90 card ever made, which means that whether you're a professional photographer or an enthusiast, your SD card game just got a major upgrade. Now, I believe Prograde is also in the process of producing a half terabyte card, but Sabrent was first to market, and I'm not surprised because just about every arena that they throw their hat into, they push the envelope. I always say this, they were the first to make an eight terabyte NVMe SSD. They're pushing it with their new Thunderbolt uh, dock that I covered briefly, full review coming, that incorporates NVMe SSD uh, storage internally. I mean, just everything they do, they put their best foot forward. You can also get, I believe, 64, 128, and 256 gig capacity cards. So if that's what you're after, food for thought. But let's talk about why I personally passed on V90 cards when I bought my FX3. Now, V90 really do represent the most affordable option if you want to get the majority of you know, the capability, I would say, that your camera has to offer in terms of being able to shoot just about every uh, video format and, you know, taking into account really needing that extra speed on several different levels. And that was great. They were more affordable than CF Express Type A cards like this one right here, which is a pro grade 160 gig card, which I'm not sure what it's selling for now. I paid a little over 300 for it. But the reason I passed on V90 was the ceiling capacity being 256 because that 256 gig card, I believe back then was around, oh, I already like the packaging. They've, it looks like they've replicated what they do with all their product products. This is adorable. So kudos on the packaging, uh, Sabrent. I dig it. Um, this is the same way all, all of their NVMe drives get packaged and now their RAM um, is another thing they're rolling out. I mean, they are just doing a lot, but I digress. Uh, so essentially what I was saying is that that 256 gig card that I, you know, contemplated purchasing, that would set you back roughly $250. And in fact, Sabrin's uh, V90 card that they just launched is, I think, a little under 260 bucks. So none of that has changed. For me personally, at that time, because of its capacity, I felt that the savings of roughly 100 and change because it was a, I think I paid about 320 bucks for the ProGrade CF Express Type A card, it was worth it to go for less storage because there was just greater overall capability with this card. I mean, in a perfect world, we'd all be buying affordable uh, CF Express Type A cards um, with much higher capacities. Of course, that doesn't exist. I couldn't believe I was buying a 160 gig card, but again, um, I really thought it was a better value even though both were ridiculously expensive. Flash forward, or, or I should say fast forward, not flash forward, that's a totally different thing, to today. Uh, a 512 gig card exists, and even though it doesn't have the same read-write speed as that CF Express Type A card, it isn't proprietary, which means that if you ever change from one brand to the other, you don't have a card you can no longer use, because after all, the CF Express Type A, you're only going to use with Sony. Type B is what just about everyone else supports, which is more affordable. And Sabrent's making those as well, by the way, if you were wondering. They have been. Um, I covered their reader. Uh, but again, with UHS uh, two cards like this, you have something that will work with anything. And that versatility is key. So I will be using this in the A7 IV that I have right here. Uh, it just arrived with the brand new uh, Sony 16 to 35 PZ lens that I'm filming this on right now, which so far is excellent. I already have that ordered. But again, what this boils down to is that if like me, you purchased any uh, compact flash express type A card in the past because the pricing and capacity issues were holding you back, I get it, I did it. Uh, now, I would never have bought this if a half terabyte card like this existed uh, when I was making my purchase because 160 gigs at this speed, it's better than nothing. I mean, the smaller capacities, other people will justify saying they don't really need more than that, you know, the 80 gig card. And look, at 
an alternative to Sony, forget about it. They're tough series cards. It's essentially the same product, um, but infinitely more expensive, as are their uh, you know, CF Express Type A cards. So to be able to get a pro grade at a discount was great. It was significantly less expensive, same performance. And these operate like, because they are, NVMe SSDs that can fit inside of your camera. I mean, that is what they are. You've got 800 on the read, 700 on the right. That's more than double what you'll get out of V90 cards. But again, I think this retails for about 400. So these are really close in price. And I would never consider this card just to be able to film one thing that a V90 can't, which is 4K 120. I mean, for that, I would always, I mean, I would prefer to have this. And I'm talking about you know, one mode off of a camera like this FX3 that just doesn't qualify this purchase. It's nice that that's where I would go with the probably the least expensive uh, CF Express Type A card, just so you have that ability of internal capture. But for everything else you could shoot, again, professionally or just as an enthusiast, V90 cards are the way to go, especially now that I feel we've got higher capacities. At 256, I was disappointed. At a half terabyte, you're speaking my language. Um, and look, that's a personal preference. Great new edition by Sabrent. This will not be retiring my CF Express Type A card, but I will not need to use it anywhere near as frequently um, simply because this is one card to rule them all now. The CF Express Type A card will probably remain permanently in the studio, whereas this can be happy in the studio or, of course, out uh, in the field. Uh, or at play, I should say. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.